The biggest problem I think in, a, in facing a breakdown is contraction. When you contract, you lose your choice. You, may, you make your world small. And as hard as it may sound, this act of acceptance is to say, if I'm going to take care of what I care about, it has to be in the world the way it is. And if, I'm, if I find myself, I'm in this posture of, I want the world to be different. Just look where that lands you. It can't be. <laughs> and yet we have this opportunity to take a choice of how we look at it. And so one choice that people can take is, close my eyes, maybe it'll go away. And Samir's invitation to acceptance to say, no, open your eyes. See what's there. And in doing that, uh, notice yourself. Notice how easy it is for us to project something going on inside of us as a problem out there. And so the first place here with what Samir's helping us see is you work with yourself. And then uh, with the, the, the sharing that went on here, we get a chance when, when you begin to find your own legs, your own ground, your own care, then you can help others. And that's when you begin to hear some of uh, people saying, I'm proud, I'm, I'm taking care. And so I, you know, I really acknowledge this possibility. The theme that keeps coming back to me as we have this conversation is facing a world that we can't fit in our past. The pandemic has made it unavoidable. But this is actually something we face all the time in our lives. New situation shows up, oh, I don't want to face it because I'm not familiar with it. And so this is someone else's problem or I'll wait, and, it, and, it, and it, the invitation here is actually be with the lack of familiarity, even the discomfort of the change, and, and connect to that place. Not only, not only do you accept the situation, but the acceptance that I'm trying to practice and help people find is accept that you can always do something. 